Now that Apple has released the second version of its 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display and its new MacBook Air, uh, we decide, you know, it's a tough call to decide which one is right for you. So we're going to run through both and debate, show the merits of each, and maybe this will help you decide. Uh, so to start off with, the uh, MacBook Pro with Retina display has a much higher resolution. This is 2560 by 1600, whereas the Air only has, its display only has a resolution of 1440 by 900. So if you want to do more uh, video editing or uh, photo editing, something with a higher resolution display is probably more up your alley. Um, for looking at the weight of each one, this um, is a lot lighter than last year's. This is about three and a half pounds, 3.46 to be exact, which makes it very light. However, the MacBook Air is three pounds even. So, I mean, this ver almost disappears in your bag. Another thing that's working towards uh, portability in the MacBook Air's favor is that with uh, the new processor and now with OS X Mavericks, uh, this system lasted almost 13 hours on a charge. That's about three hours. While this one did well, this did about nine and a half hours, this is still, you know, a lot longer. So you could spend the whole day without having to plug in, which is a nice feature. They both have excellent keyboards and excellent touchpads. Both are backlit, um, so you're going to you know, like that uh, either way, whichever one you go for. On the MacBook Pro, this has a few more ports than the MacBook Air. On the side here is an SD card slot, HDMI, and USB 3. And on the other side are two Thunderbolt ports, another USB port, and um, a microphone and headphone port. By comparison, the MacBook Air has a few has has a, uh, like a few fewer ports. So there's only one USB on this side, and then on the other side, there's uh, just a second USB as well as a Thunderbolt port. So you don't have uh, HDMI uh, output, and you don't have that second Thunderbolt port. So this is not something uh, that is as easy to say dock and connect multiple monitors to. Um, Another thing, they both have Core i5 processors, um, but this one is slightly faster and performs slightly better on tests. Also, the MacBook Pro um, with Retina Display has Intel Iris graphics. Uh, it's an integrated chip similar to this one, but this one does perform a bit better when it comes to editing and gaming and things like that. Uh, Price-wise, the MacBook Pro is $200 more expensive. This is $1299 versus $1099 for the starting price for the MacBook Air. So that's also something that a lot of people want to take in consideration too. In the end, if you value portability over everything else, the MacBook Air is the way to go. Um, it's light, you know, it lasts forever on a charge, and it disappears in your bag. If you're looking for a little bit more productivity, uh, the MacBook Pro is the way to go. Um, it also has great battery life, um, but not as good. It weighs a little bit more, but you can get a little bit more done when it comes to multimedia production. So I hope this helps a little bit uh, on your decision. Uh, this is Mike Prosper for Laptop Mag.